How's it going guys? In this video, I will show you how to build a cheap and simple time-lapse setup for your Android phone using only an audio jack and an end stop switch. So I was looking for a way to trigger the camera on my smartphone to take time-lapse photos using an audio jack like you'd see with all those selfie sticks. I came upon Donald Hughes' How to Trigger a Smartphone with Arduino on Instructables. After getting it all set up and working, I discovered that I could simply hook up my end stop switch directly to my audio jack. However, I still want to save this for a later project where I build out a complete time lapse system that would allow for panning and tilting and even rotation. I want to note that in order for me to get this to work, I had to add an extra dab of solder to my mic connection. Um, initially, it was the, the connection between the, the mic and the outer casing of uh, the jack wasn't strong enough. But after adding that dab of solder, everything works fine. So, what I did was simply solder a couple of wires to my end stop switch and then put on a DuPont female wire housing and then solder the ends of my audio jack to a couple of jumper cables. This would allow for a quick uh, plug and unplugging. Next, I had to set up my phone. In most cases, setting the phone to go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity should be plenty enough. However, if your print is really large and there's a lot of infill on each layer, you'd need more time. In which case, you'd need to set your phone to stay awake completely. You can find more details of this in the descriptions below. For the next part, I 3D model and printed a mounting bracket. This allows me to mount it directly onto the X rail, like so. And when the carriage goes over, it'll hit the end switch and trigger the camera. I have the model posted on Thingiverse, and you can find the link to it in the description. Next, I had to download this camera app called Selfie Shop Camera. The reason being is because the native camera has a built-in timeout that's triggered after three minutes of inactivity. Once the app is installed, I turn off the autofocus and lock in the white balance and exposure. This allows for the images to be more consistent throughout. And here it is all put together and in action. You can see the printer head moves to the right after each layer, triggering the camera. I want to mention here that because of the added move allowing the printer head more time to ooze, I'm getting a lot of blobbiness and stringiness in my print, even though my base settings has been producing flawless prints. I've tried a couple of things to no avail. Hopefully, Devin could help me out in that area. Uh, with that said, I want to thank him and Dono for putting out their videos and instructions. I really appreciate it, and I uh, hope that they keep on doing what they're doing. Thank you, guys, and thank you for tuning in.